Okay. Uh, good morning. Custom must have nodded off at some point. I hope Maya's okay. I should hurry and get to the detention center ASAP. Nick! Nick! I... Maya! What am I gonna do? I never imagined it would turn out like this! Calm down, Maya. Take deep breaths. Come to the think of it, the first time I met her, it all started right here in the detention center. Technically, in Mia's office. I finally... I finally get to see you again. It's not your fault. You didn't do it. No, I, I did it. I killed that person. But that wasn't you. It doesn't matter. It might as well have been me. I was too weak and... I couldn't control the spirit's powers, so... I don't want to bring up the case quite yet, but... You don't have to be nice to me. I understand. Oh my god, this music. I must go find a razor blade and cut myself. Sorry, Nick, but there's nothing really special about it. Back off! That's my badge! That makes it special! I... I can't face myself. I should have known better. Well, since I'm a cold-hearted bitch and people have called me that before, I'm gonna continue being a cold-hearted bitch to her. <laughs> That's the guy I... Oh god, I'm sorry, why did I pull this picture out? Curly, she definitely has more than me. Huh? What are you talking about? Who I think the next master should be. I mean, she's got more spiritual power than me. And she really works hard at her training. Talk about bringing the mood down even further. I... I can't face my aunt right now. Not now that this has happened. It's alright, Maya. I'm sure she understands. She's on our side, after all. I know, but still... That's a lot of heart, right? That girl is still after the next sensational photo. <laughs> I guess some things never change. I felt terrible during the questioning session. I mean, Gumshu kept looking at me with these really sad eyes. So, what do you think about this person? I guess I can't expect her to know anything about this person. Well, at least it made sense. Oh god, something in this game made sense. So, you're the master or something of the Kurain school of channeling? Actually, my mother is for now. But since that title is passed from mother to daughter, I guess I will be someday. But many people think that channeling isn't real, that it's all just an act. You believe in us, don't you? Yeah, because I've seen it with my own eyes. When Maya's channeling a spirit, not only her voice, but her whole physical appearance changes. It's a supernatural phenomenon that occurs every time. It happened this time, too. Dr. Gray said that he wanted to call the nurse, so... Maya's body must have taken on that nurse's appearance. Too bad I didn't get to see her face. What exactly happened in the channeling chamber? I went into that room with Dr. Gray, locked the door, and sat down across from him. Okay. We closed our eyes, and I began the channeling. This is sounding kind of creepy, like the beginning of a scary story. 
And that's the last thing I remember. What? After a spirit comes into my body, I lose myself, my consciousness. Then you don't remember a single thing? When I came to, I was being held in my aunt's arms. And there was blood all over my clothes. Oh, but I do remember having a dream. A dream? What kind of dream did you have while you were channeling? Um, I can't remember it all that well, but... I was dead and buried in the ground. I couldn't move, and it was unbearable. Really suffocating. It went something like that. I see. I have no idea what to say to that. There was a really familiar smell, too. Under the ground? Yeah. I can't quite place it, but I know I smelled that same scent before. I guess this is about all the information I'm going to gather for today. Something I want to point out. Since this was my first Ace Attorney game, and I actually like making up predictions or theories on how things went down in any game I play, my first idea when she told me of that dream, until information we get later on, is that... She was dreaming what it was like to be the nurse, i.e. dead and in the ground. But... What's wrong? Are you sure? I mean, I'm guilty! I'm a murderer! No one's decided that yet. But I did! I killed that person with these two hands! That's enough, Maya. It's hopeless! If you defend me, you'll lose, I'm sure! Stop it! Help me. I can't help me. I'm scared. Don't worry, I will. When's the trial? It sounds like tomorrow. As usual, zero prep time. Why do you sound surprised? You already made clear that every case is like that for a few years now. Alright. I'm going now. Wait. This jewel. This is called a Makatama. It's a magical charm, and it's always protected me. Give this to Pearly, and I'm sure she'll lend you her spiritual powers. Make sure to show that to Pearly, okay, Nick? I'm sure she'll be a big help to you. Okay. By the way, this episode is currently an hour long, and it hasn't ended yet. To be quite honest, I thought it was gonna end this part of the game when Gumshoe was telling everybody that the investigation would take longer and everybody would be going to bed. If this part takes too long, I am going to cut at the previously mentioned point and turn this into two episodes. Well, two episodes this section of the game. It depends on how long it takes. Charlie, a quite decorative plant. It's a memento of my boss Mia, who passed away. You mean she died? The rest of the room may be in shambles, but I always manage to care for this little fella. Difficult looking legal books stand in formidable row. They mock me. Actually, I've neglected them for so long, a layer of dust has started to form. One of these days, I should try to build up the courage to read one. Maybe. A poster of the TV action hero, the Steel Samurai. Um... Nope. Looks nothing like the Steel Samurai. Maya stuck it up here right before she left. I wouldn't say that the Steel Samurai and the attorney's office are a good match, but... Maya threatened to curse me with some magic spell, so I guess it can stay. There is a giant building just outside the window. 
It's the Gatewater Hotel, a high-class luxury hotel. Until recently, it had been a normal business-class hotel. I have to save Maya, no matter what. It's her life on the line. What in the world happened in that room yesterday? The meditation room nurtures all mediums, young and old. Even mediums in training, I'd wager. But it's pretty deserted today. Probably because of the murder yesterday. Actually, I never looked at this room. A piece of cloth with a ton of finely written characters jammed onto it. Probably esoteric knowledge only mediums would know. Uh, let's see... Here's one in English. It says... 100 ways to save money. Being a medium sounds like a rough way of life. A door that leads to the channeling chamber, the place where spirits and people meet. The iron in this door was pe was tampered, making it very solid. It looks like there is a strong lock on this door to top it off. Someone with a lot of skill wrote those four Chinese characters with a brush. Oh look, there's a translation. Once in a lifetime. Its message is people should value their ghostly meetings as once in a lifetime chances. Anything else? Nope. Oh. This door leads out to the winding way. The weather outside looks very nice. Riveting. It looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today, which means that I can actually do my investigation. I should take this chance and thoroughly check this room. If I'm lucky, I might uncover a clue or two. Oh, Mr. Wright. Good morning. I am on my way to go meet Mystic Maya, and I thought to bring her some items to make her feel more at home. Namely tea so bitter you lose your tongue, and jaw-dropping large strawberry desserts. I'm sure Maya will be very grateful. That's Mystic Maya, good sir! Ugh. She's one scary lady. Oh dear, sweet Mystic Maya. Pearl wept constantly for you last night, as did I. I know it's important for me to search the site, but I should ask her some questions too while I have the chance. I would like to ask you a few questions about what happened yesterday. Do you mean that awful tragedy? Yes, please. Flashback to this tragedy that I have forgotten of up to now. What happened here in this room after I left? Well, first I struck Mystic Maya on the head. To make her go unconscious, correct? That is correct. Next, I performed the Spirit Severing Technique. Spirit Severing Technique? The spirit of that nurse was inside of Mystic Maya's body. I used the technique to send the nurse's spirit back to the other world. I wonder if this kind of testimony is even admissible in the court of law. It wasn't DL6, I'm sure it would be in this case. By the way, what is this room exactly? Wasn't that explained to you last day? The channeling chamber? This room was created for the sole purpose of preventing such a tragedy as yesterday. What do you mean? Sometimes, when an inexperienced medium calls an especially strong spirit, that spirit may become violent and revolt, as you witnessed yesterday. Revolt? But how? 
When a spirit enters a medium's body, she loses her will and herself steps aside. To put it another way, the spirit is bothering the medium's body, good sir. But isn't that extremely dangerous? An experienced medium has little problem controlling a spirit. No! You're contradicting yourself. First, you say that a medium can control the spirit, but you also say that when a medium channels, their self is gone. Basically, they become a shell of a body, and the channeled spirit goes into that body. Translation, they would be incapable of gaining control about it. They couldn't do anything. And I just want to want you guys to remember this, because this is being mentioned, or going to be thought of, in a, in a different case. Just remember, no medium can control the spirit, since a medium, the host body's actual spirit, does not exist at that point. But Maya, I mean Mystic Maya, that was her first channeling, and that was why I insisted on locking the door. However, I never thought that would be calling danger upon the client himself. How long have you been doing this? And after all this time, it only occurred to you now that calling a potentially violent spirit could cause damage or bring danger upon the client? Stupid woman. I am grateful that one of our heirlooms was not damaged in this horrible incident. And that is? It is that folding screen there. It is the Kurain's sacred writings. Along with the Kurain's sacred urn, they are this village's most treasured possessions. If I ever found out that something had happened to either one... Oh, the inhumanity. Odd for it to be worrying about the folding screen at a time like this. I guess this isn't just some dilapidated old screen after all. So, how was Pearl today? Mr. Wright. Yes. In this world, Pearl is my most treasured possession. When compared to even Mystic Maya, Pearl has the spiritual power to become a master. That's very impressive. Until now. The women of the Branch family have thought themselves to be inferior. But Pearl is different. Her spiritual strength is so great, even greater than some of the main family. Considering you mentioned that Maya is the only one of the main family remaining, Pearl would be not greater than some of the main family. Yes, Pearl is a, tr a channeling prodigy and is the pride of the Branch family. Wow. She's really fired up now. In any case, our world is so different from yours. Perhaps it is best for you to quit, good sir. Quit? Quit what? Preferably quit depending on Mia in court. It's a beautiful and expensive folding screen. It also looks quite old. There seems to be some sort of sacred text written on it, but I can't read it. This is... It's a hole! Could this have been made by a bullet? Well then, I do believe it's time for me to take my leave. Alright, please tell Maya I said hi. What was that? Uh, I mean, Mystic Maya. I will tell her. <sighs> There is some empty space behind the folding screen. The light of the candles can't reach back there, so it's completely dark. I hope no one is hiding back there. Hint number two! Little Pearl isn't here today. Maybe she's at school? Does a small village like this that has majority of women working as spirit mediums 
Does it even have a school? Oh, hey! Like, you're that guy from yesterday? The, uh, dentist guy. No, no, I'm a lawyer. That's right, um, Mr. Smith Esquire. That's right. Wait, I mean, you're wrong. My name is right. Smith, right. Well, I got, like, three letters at least. I don't think she gets the point. Anyway, why are you here? So, like, I studied this thing called parapsychology at this college, and... You told me about that yesterday. The sesame allergy, too. What I'd really like to know is why you're still here today. Oh, so, like, that's what you meant. Like, you should have been more, like, clear about it. Sorry. My bad. No, it's okay. Like, it's really... That's it? Why'd you stop mid-sentence? Did I? So, like... What was I talking about again? If Lada ever wanted another genuine, mysterious phenomenon, it's right here. I forget where I'm going mid-sentence sometimes. Would you take a look at this? Hey! It's like one of those little badges people in Congress all wear. No, 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 I'm a lawyer. LAWYER! Like, so is that what you are? So, why are you still here today? Like, there's so much for me to, like, study here. Like what? Like, the medium's training, or like, how they inherit their spiritual power. I suppose this village is the real thing, after all. So, like, I asked if I could stay here for, like, a little longer. She sir... She sure seems like the carefree type, at least on the surface. I can't believe I had the same mispronunciation as I did last time. Have you heard about the murder? It's, like, totally scary. She says with a silly smile plastered on her face. So, do you know anything about it that might help? Somehow I don't think she has a grip on reality, let alone what's going on here. About the victim, Dr. Gray. I don't know who you're talking about. Like, wait, I think you asked about him, like, yesterday, too. That's right. Her reaction yesterday when I asked was... Okay, she is definitely hiding something from me. Like, is something wrong? Well, if you're not gonna talk, I'm gonna go outside. And now we come to Pearl, who... I'm not entirely sure how I'll voice. Yeah, d you surprised me. And how are you today? Uh, I guess she isn't open to friendly chatting. Hmm? She's still holding something in her hand. It looks like the same thing she had yesterday. Well? Maya told us to give her this. Oh, right, Maya said to give this to you. Oh god, I'm in trouble now! If Morgan sees us like this, I'll be the next one they're channeling! It's <laughs> Mystic Mayos! Eh? Huh? She actually spoke! Who are you? I I'm Phoenix Wright. I worked with Maya. Y you worked with Mystic Maya? 
You... you're Mr. Nick, right? Um... excuse me? I better know who she picked Nick up from. I know who you are. You're... you're Mr. Kaya's special someone. What? The, what? So, of course! You're going to help Mystic Maya, aren't you? That's what you're going to do, right? W well, yeah, I will. <sighs> it's like a beautiful fairy tale. That earnest look shining brightly in your eyes. It must be true love. Well, what? I'll have you know, Edgeworth and I are in an open gay relationship. Why am I being boiled into a bright red lobster by this little kid? I'm so jealous of Mystic Maya. What a wonderful relationship. W wait, I... Uh, we aren't... Things aren't like... <laughs> I can tell you're a good person. Alright, Mr. Nick. I may be small, but I'm gonna help you in any way I can. I will have to say, out of all the small... Well, small... Young girls that become your assistant during parts of the games, the ones that I've played... She's definitely the one that I dislike the least. She does have her annoying parts in it. Pearl, are you friends with Maya? I feel very grateful to be friends with her. She's so great. I want to be like Mystic Maya when I grow up. I really look up to her. Wow, I had no idea Maya was so revered. Usually, when people don't use Mystic Maya's title, I get mad. Uh, oh. Sorry. But if it's you, Miss Nick, then it's okay. Because... Because you're special to her. Where in the world did you get an idea like that? By the way, this may be rude, but which channeling school are you from? Which channeling school? Yes. For example, I studied the Kurein technique. Oh, I get it. No, no, no. I'm, I'm a lawyer. A lawyer. Lawyer? Yes. Is that related to spirit mediums in any way? Um, not that I know of. Wait, are you telling me you don't know what a lawyer is? I'm sorry, but I have no idea. Maya did say Pearl doesn't know much about the outside world. So, what's that you've got there, Pearl? Oh, this? I found it yesterday. If you want it, I can give it to you. Sure. Well, if you really want to give it to me... <laughs> you look like a child at a toy store, Mr. Nick. She not only speaks in a refined manner, but laughs in one, too. I got a black key. Mr. Nick? Yes, Pearls? I could call you that, right? You're too cute to just call you Pearl. Sure, Mr. Nick. Um, are you sure it's okay for me to have this Magatama? Yeah, it's okay. I was told to give it to you. But I can't accept something like this. All I really should do is charge this Magatama with spiritual energy. Spiritual energy? Please take this. I'm sure it will be helpful. What do you mean? It will let you see people's secrets. See people's... secrets? Yes. If it's alright with you, I would like to accompany you for a little while. I can explain the Magatam's power to you when we meet someone hiding a secret. Okay. Sounds like fun. I'm trying really hard to not do the same mistake that I did in all my previous runs of this case. I always immediately went for Eni when I still need something before I can actually, you know, fully in interrogate her. Hey, it's you, pal. So you're gonna be a lawyer, I bet. Yeah. Oh. I really feel bad for you, pal. Just this once, I wish I could be on your side. Detective Gumshoe. Yeah, but I shouldn't be saying that sort of stuff to you. 
Hey! You're a cute kid. Haha. <laughs> I'm not scary. Honest! Wow. I never knew Gumshoe liked kids. Uh, hey! I know! I'll show you something cool! How's this? It's a real, genuine pistol! Detective Gumshoe! What are you doing showing her something that dangerous? Oh. Sorry. You know, why don't you show her your badge? It could be nice. Hey, look. It's my attorney's badge. Ha! <laughs> good one, pal. You're always good for a laugh with your little badge. But a real man. A real man has a police badge. Uh, Mr. Nick? What is it, Pearls? I was wondering if I could see it, too. Uh, no, it's okay. It's not that important anyway. Phoenix feels small and inadequate next to Gumshoe's big police badge. Uh, I better shut my mouth. What? I'm not gonna give you any information about evidence, pal. Oh. What do you think about this? Hey, that's a pretty nice looking brooch. You should stop wearing that ugly old attorney's badge and start wearing that, pal. <laughs> that detective is so nice. Aren't you happy, Mr. Nick? Happy? About what? Um, Dr. Gray brought this over to my office the other day and... Hey! It's that news story, the one about the malpractice suit. Fourteen patients died and it caused a huge stink. Yeah, that's not all, pal. Things only got worse after that. You mean the car accident the nurse died in? Hmm. Ah, here we go. I brought my own clipping with me today. Here, pal. This is for you. Thanks. Mimi Miney, nurse at Gray's surgical clinic, died after falling asleep at the wheel. And you had the newspaper clipping of this year-old case carrying around for no reason. Okay. What about Maya and the charges against her? I don't think you can win, pal. If you're talking about proof, we've got a few pieces. You've got proof? Yeah, pal. The puffy-haired photographer is going to testify tomorrow. Oh, Jesus. Or maybe I should say Gordy. He must be talking about Lotta. Actually, speaking of Lotta... I took some hot pictures earlier. Remember, I took pictures at the murder scene inside. Lotta's hot pictures. I wonder what a camera captured. Upskirt shot of channeling Maya. Besides, you must realize by now, pal, there's no way anyone other than Maya Faye could have done it. What am I supposed to say to Pearls now? About Dr. Gray. The victim wasn't super famous, but people still knew who he was. His face was all over those tabloid shows last year. I know. I was looking through some newspapers from last year and... Huh? I could have sworn I had... I caught an article out, but I guess I must have lost it. He's searching through his pockets. Boy, are those big. Looked really interesting, too. Hey, do you have a copy, pal? Copy of that article? I think Dr. Gray might have brought a copy to the office when he came by. I should really start to talk to people first and then presenting evidence. About Maya's trial tomorrow. I've got two pieces of news for you, pal. Two? Yeah, bad news and even worse news. So which do you want to hear first? I don't really care doesn't change the fact that I'm not going to like it. Alright, pal. Well, the prosecutor trial is Prosecutor von Karma. What? Von Karma? Manfred von Karma. 
He was an awe-inspiring veteran prosecutor. He never lost a case in the 40 years of his career, and he raised a fearsome discipline. Uh, dis discipline, yes. And I think I had already pointed out that in his 40 years of career, he lost a case. He didn't seem to care. He lost two. The horrible aftertaste of the evil he force-fed me is something I'll never forget. Wait a second. But didn't Von Kama stand trial and... and that's where the other piece of bad news comes in. The Von Kama you're facing tomorrow is actually a successor. Successor? So, um, who is the successor to Von Karma? Literally, pal, it's Prosecutor Von Karma's kid. You're telling me he didn't have sex with a woman once to create one kid, but often enough to create a second kid? Wow. That is a big feat in this case. You know, in this world. His kid became a prosecutor real long. Like, 13, and hasn't lost a trial since. That's what they call a prodigy, pal. Well, let's see. First game, we had Edgeworth, who was a prodigy, becoming an attorney... Well, a prosecuting attorney. At age 20. In this case? In this game? We have... This one, who becomes a prosecutor at age 13. And we have Pearl, who is a prodigy at age 8. Also, in a later game, we have a rock star slash prosecuting attorney at the age of 17. Nothing against prodigies, but it's like they're stacking them all the time. I don't know about the fifth game. I haven't played Dual Destinies. I don't know if Athena Sykes or Kokone is labeled as a prodigy. I don't know. Frankly, I don't care. Still, they're using the term prodigy too often in this case. Kid, huh? W wait a sec. Thirteen? The kid became a prosecutor at the age of thirteen? I mean, a prodigy like that? I would have heard something about. Oh, no, no. The kid was born and raised in Germany, pal. Noch ein Deutscher, das ist ja schön. The country's got a lot of stuff and is a great place to develop a person's talents. I guess we are. We do have some very nice culture and history to look at. Germany, huh? That's probably why I've never heard of this person. Ugh, still, all it takes is someone mentioning the name von Karma. And I get terrible flashbacks to that case. Over it, Phoenix! That person is already gone. Just to point out in the Japanese version of the game, the Von Karma successor is said to have been raised in America. Anyway, do you have anything to say about this? Nope. Oh well. Also, for the people who've watched or seen some of my videos like a few years ago, this case may seem awfully familiar because yes, I had originally recorded my very first time of playing through this game, but without commentary I was just leaving little annotations as my comments in the game. So, part of the case may seem familiar, but I never finished because even though my videos are not monetized, I got content ID, you know, put onto them. And says I didn't want to get into the trouble of having to do anything with that since, again, my videos are not being monetized. I just deleted them. Ah, she's, like, totally cute. Is she, like, your daughter? What? No! How old do you think I am? Well, let's see. You're 24 year old in this game, and she's 8. I'm not that good with numbers. 
but technically she could be your daughter. You would have fathered her at the age of sixteen. So technically, it would be possible. Anyway, let us talk about the victim again. I want to ask you about the victim, Dr. Gray. I, like, totally don't know him. What? Ugh! What is that? You can see it, can't you, Dr. Mr. Nick? You can see the lock on that person's heart. What? This is the power of the Magatama. Only you can see these psych locks, Mr. Nick. Psych locks, huh? The more someone wants to hide their secret, the more locks you will see. If it's only one, I think you can easily unlock it. Unlock? How? Please use Mystic Maya's Magatama on this person. And let's remove the lock! I have no idea what she's talking about, but guess I'll give it a try. You must be careful though, Mr. Nick. If you make a mistake, it will hurt you. If you don't think you have the proof you need, you must have the courage to stop. I've got to start somewhere. Let's give the Psycloc thing a try. So yeah, this is locked. We can talk to her, but it won't bring us any further until we have, you know, unlocked it. I must say, I like the music. Eeny miny, I believe you do know who Dr. Gray is. I told you, like, how many times do I, like, have to repeat myself? If you're, like, so totally sure, then where's, like, your proof? While it may be possible you never actually met Dr. Gray in person, I do believe you might have at least indirectly known of him. Like, what do you mean, like, indirectly? I should try to show that the possibility existed for one. Something that shows a possible connection between Eni and Dr. Gray. Anyway, as you can see here, the life bar. If we fail to present the right thing, it's gonna take part of our life bar off. The life bar is, unlike in the first game, not replenished after each section. So if we screw up a lot, we are going to have less life in the trial section, so we can easily get game over faster. That was the wrong one. Like, what is that? Ouch. Guess it doesn't have anything to do with it, huh? Pearls did warn me. If you make a mistake, it will hurt you, she said. If I don't have enough evidence, I should probably stop. I should take another look at the court record and think it through one more time. Yeah, anyway, let's quick go through that. Cause... Da, 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 da. Did I have to show Eni? Or did I have to show Dr. Gray? I don't remember. Yeah, that was the wrong one, too. I thought that both times I had to show the... What you call it? The stupid newspaper article. I thought I had to show that the second time around. Well, whatever. Take a look at this newspaper clipping. Like, what is it? A story about an accident? Oh no, wait, I did fall into the same trap, didn't I? Shoot. Whatever. Um, Mimi Miney. Miney is a pretty rare last name, wouldn't you say? Miss Mimi Miney wouldn't happen to be a relative of yours, would she? So you noticed. 
She was my older sister. I'm sorry about your loss. Your sister, was she a nurse? Perhaps at Dr. Gray's surgical clinic? Gray's surgical clinic? I don't think I need to tell you that the clinic was run by the victim, Dr. Turner Gray. Which is how you knew of Dr. Gray. You knew him through your sister. Maybe I'm thinking of a different psych log of hers. I definitely are. Anyway, yes, if you successfully unlock them, then not only can you finally advance, but you also replenish part of your life again. Not everything. Please, tell me all you know about Dr. Gray. My... my sister's name was Mimi Miney. She was, like, a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. That's what I thought. I heard that, like, Dr. Gray was really tough on people. Like a total slave driver. My sis was, like, always coming home totally wiped out because she was overworked. Wiped out? So is that why she fell asleep at the wheel? That guy, like, drove my sis so hard, so, like, that's why the accident happened. The one where 14 patients died from malpractice? Yeah, like, I think that was the doctor's fault, too. My sis was pushed by, like, everyone's expectations and, like, her duties and stuff. And that pushed her to her death. Oh, I'm sorry. So, like, are we done? I've, like, already told my story to, like, everyone. Do you understand now, Mr. Nick? This is how a psych works. Well, I don't plan to pry into people's hearts unless I absolutely need to. The luck this time was pretty easy, but you might meet people who aren't as willing to give in, to give in later on. If you don't have enough proof, be careful and know when to stop trying. Anyway, as I said before, something in this room changed. Where did this box come from? I'm sure this wasn't here last night. Looks like a box for storing clothes. But it's pretty big for just clothes. It's mostly empty, but a few folded pieces of channeling costumes sit at the bottom. By the way, if Mimi Miney couldn't handle the responsibility that her duty as a nurse demanded from her, maybe she should have tried a different job. Mr. Nick? What's wrong? I have never left Kurain Village. Really? That's some pretty amazing. You are going to meet with Mystic Maya, aren't you? Please tell her I said hi. Hey, wait! She ran off. Again. Well, I know Ini's secret now, but... I still don't have any idea how I'm going to save Maya. I don't even know if I should go in there with a smile or a straight face. A face of resolution that you are going to do all you can to help her. At least I think, think that would be good. What am I supposed to do? I'm almost out of time! Can I really do anything? Can I really save her? Sorry to keep you waiting. Must be Maya. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Phoenix? Mia! Even without me being there, it looks like you've learned to stand on your own. Mia. She's Maya's older sister and my mentor. She was a top-notch defense lawyer, but a certain case forced her into retirement. You mean she died? But whenever I'm in trouble, she comes to help, just like this. Her spirit comes back from the other world and borrows Mia's body for Maya's body for a bit. Phoenix, 
you can't make that kind of face in front of your client. A lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how it, bad it gets, and especially when it's bad. Mia. You can't smile at the end if you haven't been smiling the whole way there. In any case, the face you're making now is no face to show a client phoenix. But... Tell me about it. I'm going to guess that my sister is in a lot of trouble again. After all, she is in jail. Again. I told her everything about what had happened in the last two days. Mia closed her eyes, deep in thought while she listened. I see. Mia, what am I supposed to do? It's pretty clear what a good lawyer does in this situation. That is... Please, tell me. Believe in your convictions. And fight for the complete acquittal of your client. Mia. <laughs> this patch brings back a lot of memories, doesn't it? I would love to stand with you at the defense table one more time. Mia. This is Maya's Magatama, isn't it? Why do you have it? Maya gave it to me, but... I see. This is something very important to me. Take good care of it, okay? She looks at it with such a soft look in her eyes. Mia, have you seen this key before? Ah, the key. It's literally the key to understanding everything that's happened in this case. This key? Phoenix, listen. Right now, that key is sitting in your hand. However, it shouldn't be. It contradicts the facts. What does she mean? I'm certain this key will be the piece of evidence that makes your case tomorrow. Could you take a look at this? Do you have anything more useful? There's no time left. Try to show me something that will help you in tomorrow's trial. Actually? I can't see Maya when I'm in her body like this. But I can tell she's very lonely and sad. Take good care of her, will you, Phoenix? I will. I don't remember who that is. Okay. Pearly! She's really grown up. I left Kuhan village a long time ago. She probably doesn't remember a thing about me by now. I'm trying to calculate here something. Hang on. Okay, DL6 took place about 16 years ago. 15 since Mia died at age 27. Let's go from there. I don't think it was ever mentioned when she heard or found her need of being a lawyer to find out about her mother's truth and all. So maybe she left when Pearl was only a baby. It is possible. I'm afraid I might have caused Aunt Morgan a lot of stress. When I left Kuhain, I left my ma I left Maya in my aunt's care. And now something like this happens. That's right. I'm already dead. But I feel very grateful to have been born a Fae. So I can talk with you like this. Which... Some people... Considering what happens in the game, some people do think that... Maya and all the other Fae spirit channels can only channel another Fae member. Considering what happens, it is a possibility. You think Maya's not guilty? How can you be so sure? 
I know she is, and I'll give you a hint as to why. Yes? Mediums can't have dreams. Can't have dreams? From what you told me, it sounds like Maya was having a dream while channeling. Yeah? She said she dreamt that she had died and had been buried in the ground. But that is impossible. You've heard it from her, I'm sure. When a medium channels, her own spirit disappears. Which means that it's impossible for her to dream during that time. Then... What does this mean? I think it's safe to bet that Maya was set up. A set up? It's up to you to blow the lid on this case tomorrow and show how she was set up. How am I supposed to prove her innocence when I have nothing to go on? If you're looking for a clue, it's already in your hands. I it is? Just as it sounds, Phoenix, you already hold the key. Really? Come on, show me the key to this case. The key, huh? I'll show it to her, the key I hold. You already know everything you need to know. You know what the key to this case is. That is enough. But... But... How can I win tomorrow without knowing who the real murderer is? Who... Who could have... At the time, I didn't know. But this day was going to end with a turn for the surprising. Mia! What... What's wrong? Th that's right, only I can see the psych locks. Which means... Mia must know something about the real murderer. But for this to be something that she would hide under the lock and keep from even me... What in the world is going on?